Decorator is a structural pattern that allows adding new behaviors to objects dynamically by placing them inside special wrapper objects called decorators. Let's say we have a simple man without any special advantages. Just like in a game, we can upgrade him to be a fully fledged warrior with extra functions like defending and attack. In our Java example, we will focus more on a real life practical example. We will prepare a decorator to write and read data from text files and later on extend it to be able to encode and decode it as well. First, to make sure that we have a common pattern to create all kinds of data sources, we have to define an interface with methods to write and read data. Next, let's create a simple text files reader and writer that implements this interface. As a private field and on creation, it takes a name of the file that we want to work with. In write data method, we create a new file with the name we pass on object creation and next we open up a file stream. Open stream we pass to try catch block because during writing there might be input output errors. We save data by transforming text to byte array, passing zero offset and length of this array. In read data method, first we create a character array as a buffer and a new file abstract representation with a name of a file we want to open. To try catch block, we pass a new file reader object that we will read from previously defined file. To define size of buffer, we have to create a new array with the size of the file that we just opened. We have to cast it to integer because default value is of a long type. This buffer we pass to read method of stream. We return a new string object because we have to transform array of bytes to string representation. Finally, let's create a general representation of every data source decorator that has all kinds of data sources as a private field. This wrapper invoke read and write methods inside. Here comes the clue of this design pattern. By extending this wrapper, we can basically extend functionality of our data source. On object creation, we pass data source we want to extend. In this case, let's extend it to additionally encode and decode on safe text data. The algorithm is very simple. On every byte, we add number one in byte representation. So for example, we have a character S, which is 115 as a decimal number, and we simply add one to get 116. Then we encode everything to base64 format and pass to our data source. To decode text, we simply decode base64, subtract one from every character and transform to string. On the client side, to use these classes, you have to only create main file data source with a path to the text file and pass it to newly created object to our encryption decorator. By extending data source decorator, you can nest as many decorators as you want. If you found this video valuable, follow for more.